Hey y'all, Sean Shirt here again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. Today I'm actually going to be showing you my truck, 2015 Silverado 1500 with absolutely no lift and some big old tires. Let's go. Hey y'all, this is one that you keep seeing in the background. Usually it's dirty. I finally got a chance to get her cleaned up. But this is my 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500. It's the, uh, I think it's like an LS or something like that. So it's four wheel drive, but uh, not a lot of perks, nothing too special. But we already dove into doing some custom stuff. Basically we started off right away with pulling out the blocks in the rear. So it brought down the back end, I think is like an inch and a half or two inches. I'm definitely gonna keep going down with it in the future, but just wanted to show you what we got so far. As far as the wheels, I went with the uh, 24 by 10 dub ballers, and then that's got that DDT, the double dark tint uh, color to it. Went with the black lug nuts that we also offer. With these, I went with the, um, is a 24 by 10 that's a plus 31 offset. So that's pretty close to a factory offset, just a wider wheel. I didn't like that it was still tucked in a little bit. So I actually even added half inch bore spacers to mine to push it out another half inch. I always try to get as flush as possible. And then it's got the 305, 35, the new Aturo tires that came out. They're not, I mean, they're an all season tire, I believe, but they're definitely not a snow tire, but I've been running them all year round. If things get slick, I just throw it in four wheel drive. And I've had, we got eight inches, I think 10 inches of snow one day, and I just back and forward a couple times and off I went. So definitely not afraid to run these in the winter, even though they're not a true winter tire. Um, like I said, suspension wise, I've only taken the blocks out. I'm gonna go to a two, four drop. So the front end's gonna come down another two inches, back down another four inches. Doing something like that, you don't have to cut the frame or anything if I were to go with a you know, much bigger 4.7 or something like that, which is what I'd like to do, but I don't wanna get in the C-channel on the frame on this one. You can see some of the other stuff I did. This was the LS, so it has all chrome bumpers and grill and everything. I had all of that wrap, so this is all vinyl wrap from Auto Trim Designs here in town. So you're able to just cover all that up, filled in the bow ties with the wrap also. You can see I did some custom tint with the lower brow and then our 55 inch custom offsets decal. Um, another cool thing to show you, you can see on the back window I've got our new custom offsets rear window street trucks edition decal. That turned out pretty cool. That's one of the ones that you can go on the site and basically flip flop and choose your colors. What color you want the main logo and what color you want the lower um, logo as well. Uh, future plans, like I said, 2-4 drop. I'm going to throw an exhaust on this thing. It's way too quiet for me. I'm just doing like a floor master um, muffler. And then also going with the spike lug nuts. We actually have those coming out right now on the site. We've just added the Chevy, I believe, 6 and 8 lug in black. We've got them coming chrome. And we've also got them coming in the Ford patterns, the 14 by 2s. So LED headlights, I think I'm going to go with like a 40 inch light bar behind the grill, hide it real good so it just blends in. Uh, the big plan is to actually have this one be the tow vehicle for the CO Lambo when she gets all done this spring so we can take it all over the country and kind of show that thing off. So that's the big plans for this guy. And uh, come back, see us, Custom Offsets TV. Uh, remember it's on YouTube slash Custom Offsets and see what we do with this thing next. See you guys. 